Hello everybody and welcome to an Essentials Plays Humankind with the open the first scenario. It literally just got an email about this a couple of minutes ago, installed the game and decided to go and record this to show you all what this has to offer. So uh, there are three scenarios or something coming out for open death and this is the first one. The Towers of Babylon. Discover Discovery small steps and growth. Standing at the center of civilization, Babylon is, was and always will be one of the greatest cities the world has ever seen. It's your turn to write a chapter in its glorious history. How will you be remembered? So, I haven't kept up with everything that this game has to offer, like how the game exactly works and all stuff like that. There are probably lots of you who know way better than I do. But I'm still, I'm going to dive in head first and see how this game will teach itself towards me as somebody who doesn't know all those things. So it's going to be really interesting. Let's start with this scenario. Originally a modest Mesopotamian city, Babylon, which in Akkadian means the gate of the gods, became between the beginning of the second millennium and the end of the third century BC the capital of successive empires that dominated the region. Within it, the kings erected in turn walls, palaces, fortresses and temples of ever more imposing dimensions. Some of which, as the Hanging Gardens or the Tower of Babylon. <sighs> Couldn't read the rest of it, unfortunately. Let me tell you the story of the glorious city, how it began, how it expanded, how it thrived. Long ago, Babylon was little more than a dusty square and a smattering of market stalls, but its people had big dreams. Grow Babylon. Explore its environs and settle new lands. Expand and fortify the city. The fate of Babylon is in your hands. Raise a great city of many souls, protected by many armies and whose influence stretches into new lands. Alright. So this is the game. Um, I like the looks of it. It has some really nice graphics, I would say. What do we have here? We have some salt. Oh, all right. I love it that when you zoom out, this happens. This is a great like transition screen. Uh, within the construction list, as well as units and extensions, you'll find infrastructures. Each city can build all one of these special buildings, and they are not placed on the map, but will directly improve the city. They interact with quarters and other game entities in unique ways. Read the description and plan your construction accordingly. First, let's build one of the infrastructures by left-clicking on this illustration. So, these are the, in the infrastructures. Millstone and tanning racks. I assume so. An astronomy house should be something different. Farmer's quarters. Yeah, it seems like these two are, are different. These will be placed on the map, markets, or makers, not markets, makers' quarters, former's quarters, and astronomy house. All of them seem good. We have a millstone. We get plus four food per number of territories, or money for territories. I think that it is best to go for food, grow fast, and make more money that way. So let's go with that. I do love the looks of it so far. Alright, millstone. When, uh, when an infrastructure extension or even a unit has been selected, they are put into the construction queue. Each construction takes several turns to be completed and each industry to be built. Makes sense. You can also buy out any construction if you do not want to wait. And we can buy out it for 36 coins. We have 50, make 5 per turn, so that's not that bad. But if you look at how much we produce, it should be non necessary. Like, I wonder if we buy out, do we. It will complete the construction instantly. So because we have so much production left over, well, only a little left over next turn, it should be very cheap to buy out. And we can buy it out then and maybe then build something else. Right. 
Alright, so this is Balblon with one person in it. Um, it'll take eight turns for a new population to grow into it. This is the population that we're using right now. If we pop it in here, the millstone will be completed directly. I think that's actually not a bad idea. It will lose one turn of growth. But we will gain the exact amount with that as well because we are building the millstone who also gives plus four food. So next turn, unless we would have bothered out. Public order is decreasing. We can't really do stuff about that, I think. Alright, interesting. City view. I want you to go away now. So we have a unit here. With two scouts. There's some salt over here and a discovery for the first army to go on there. This looks like a crater. This is stone field. Interesting. Alright. So let's go with this regiment onto the animal remains apparently. With this army action, you can set up an outpost on an unclaimed territory without any city or outpost already on it. In the future, this outpost can become a city. Alright, so we can build an outpost. Not sure if we want that there. Well, there's some salt here, some copper. Really useful, especially in these kinds of like stone agey moments. Um. Alright, so let's try and build an outpost. Oh, I, I, this looks very familiar to what you have in um, Endless Legend, I would say. Yeah, I believe the name is Endless Legend. So... We want a place which has good production and food, I would say. This will be good for the salt. And being close to the copper will give us quite a lot of... Well, technology progress, I would say. How much are we making there? Can we see that? Go to the technology screen. So... It doesn't really say how much we're making per turn, does it now? Well, let's take a look at what we want. Because there are a couple of things that we can unlock. Irrigation. Bronze working. We need city defense first. Masonry. Stoneworks and what? I do love these these art pop-ups. Like both to the like, over here directly. And then these cars. They're beautiful. Oh, they're amazing. But I believe we are on the coast over here. So a harbor could be interesting. Um, calendar for a granary. Common quarters. Research quarters. Animal barns. Lumber yard. I think we should focus on some copper. Really useful to have. We also could go for writing, but I don't think that's necessary. Let's go with city defense then, so we can go for bronze working. Right. Uh, next era. I just want to take a look at what we have more. Philosophy. Like We're probably not going to get any of this, I assume. Well, maybe. This is all there is in the tech tree for now. Standing armies. Siege tactic. Imperial power. Customs. Yeah. Really cool. Alright. So we had some religions. Doesn't really say how much we're making though. Babylons are scientists. Gameplay oriented focus on science and research. You can set cities to science mode. All the industry and money are converted to science. So with that, I think we might want to settle close to the copper anyway. 
And if we go here, we have the advantage of the five production over here, some food production, and the science from the copper. So let's go and do that for next turn, I think. What do we have here? No buttons. Some horses would be nice as well, though I don't see any yet. Um, let's click to high show the primary type of output. Tile output, alright, also nice, I guess. And the hexes itself. Alright, let's go to the next turn then. So we have 28 turns. I think I saw somebody over there. Well, let's go put the outpost up. And then next turn, move you over there. This city is not doing anything, so we should do something with it. I'm gonna switch you back to the food. And I think we're going to build an astronomy house. Plus two food per researcher. A researcher slot on settlement. We don't really need it as much. I think. Also, this doesn't actually do anything yet, does it? Since we don't have territories, whatever they are. So I was kind of mistaken that we would get that out of it. But let's try and build some astronomy house. So it kind of highlights this tile for like, uh, if you build it here, that would be amazing. And in what way do we gain production out of it? Because it becomes kind of a city tile? I don't know. Let's, let's try and experiment with it. We need a lot of money. Oh, we also spent some money. I think establishing a outpost costs money? Hmm, perhaps. Well, next turn. Well, let's see. So, we have the outpost over here. It takes another turn for it to be constructed. No problem. We're going to go and see what we have over here. Some extra science. And an animal lair. This is a lair. Destroyed and you will be the associated animal from... Sp Stop the associated animal from spawning. To destroy a lair, you can ransack it with an army on an adjacent tile. You can destroy lairs and enemy outposts using the ransack action. Can only be ransacked a tile if it's able to reach it during the same turn. Left click on the ransack option. Click to ransack and we gain some cash out of that as well. Alright, let's try. Get some cash out of that and it's being ransacked by us. So Spawn point is being ransacked. Sanctuary. I have no clue what that means. But that's kind of the fun of it, isn't it? Just discovering what this all is. What it does. You've destroyed the lair. Hover over the ransack action to see your spoils. You get 22 gold. Okay, I don't mind that. Um, I don't want to build an outpost there. So we have an outpost. Once you've created an outpost, the territory where it is located is considered claimed and belongs to you. No one else can create an outpost there. Unless an opponent has open borders with you, they can no longer lawfully set foot inside either. If for some reason you are not satisfied with the, uh, the position of your outpost, you can relocate it somewhere else inside the territory. Interesting. You can also develop it into a city. Enabling resource gathering, infrastructure construction, and military production. 
but be aware that cities cannot be relocated. In both cases, these operations take several turns to complete. Understood. So we need 100 cash to upgrade it to a city. All this in quarters. Kind of a luxury resource deposit. So I think that is a way to add salt to our cities, I guess, without adding it, uh, without it becoming a true city. So yeah, there's one salt and one strategic resource. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. All right, let's do some more exploration with this chap. Let's see, where do we want to go? Kind of want to go on the high ground, because if I remember correctly, it does give you an advantage in exploring stuff and such. There is an animal over here, and we don't want to fight with it because it will probably kill us. There's some salt over there as well. By the looks of it, we can't really get up on this ledge anymore from this way. Maybe we want to ransack this as well. All right. We have to do that tomorrow, though, or next turn. Interesting. Can we see these giant bees are an important megafauna, both as a source of food and material and ever present danger. Close combat units can, that behave directly in battle can be hunted for food by certain units. Can you guys hunt him? Or do we need somebody else for that? Well, we need... For this unit, we actually need copper. So... We're working on it. Does it say... Close combat unit, useful for protecting ranged units from cavalry. Doesn't really say that this can be used for hunting either. I think it's pretty much any unit then that does the hunting. If you're currently researching a technology, the first one you click on will be queued and progress will start. You're free to click on as many technologies as you want, it will be research and order. Yeah, so we already did that. We, we put in the bronze working in the queue. Most of the technology icon, uh, technologies are like constructible game content, unit infrastructure extensions, etc. Others, however, unlock, unlock a specific type of content called Empire Bonuses. These bonuses are material and will immediately apply across your empire. Oh. Roads between cities and aqua. Ooh, also really good. Carpentry will be able to clear forests. Are an immediate boom for industry or siege warfare. All right. Understood. So that this is also gatekeeper to the bronze age, copper finds, uses in weaponry, coins, medicine, and decoration. Not really anything there. What's this one? Administrator count. I don't know what administrators are either. Oh, we can find iron. And then units not available. All right, all right. We have a ransack successful. Ah, oh, that's from before. Cool. Want to dismiss you now? Click this button to attach the territory to the selected city region. So we can attach it to the these two to each other. But what if we want to develop it as an own region though? Hmm. I'm not sure which one is better. It costs 50 bucks and what's the main benefit, right? Right now we'll get four more growth per turn if we do that. This one doesn't really 
give us that much either for it. You know what? We're experimenting. Let's do it. Interesting. So it kind of upgraded the city a little bit more. But I didn't see it increase though. Like this should now be higher, right? Because there is an attached territory. I'm going to be I'm understanding it completely wrong. I think it is wise to put this up in a queue in front of it. So we can have a one turn construction of some salt extraction. And in that case we might actually do want to add this as an outpost with a territory kind of thing. The same way we did this. Uh, it's a huge drop in stability though. Should be fine. Let's go to the next turn. We've unlocked city defenses, which will allow us to build a palisade. Cool. And warriors. Very cool. And there is a idea. Hello. So we can't really attack him right now. What is at the bottom right over here? Oh, it's a combat preview like that. I see. I think I want to ransack this first, though. Some more deer over there. See, maybe I, I'm, I'm actually doing it completely wrong. Maybe I don't want to ransack these kinds of things. I don't know. Currently not active on this city. Oh, we can make a science mode, right. Convert industry and money production to science in this city. I don't think we do want to do that, so it's fine. All right, let's end the turn here. So it's moving up in that direction and over there. So I think what I'm going to do with you is move over here first. I think we got just some cash from that. Follow me. And then see if we can find the deer over there. Maybe in the next turn or what. Alright, another successful ransack. And we're making a lot of cash now. So it might be worth to build another outpost relatively soon. And not necessarily attach it to this city. So we do this. Like these guys are stronger than us. So we want to deal with the single unit. And we found some horses. And I believe the technology to extract that is uh, domestication. Yeah. Domestication will lead to horsemanship, which is a scout cavalry. All right. That sounds like a good tech to go after, after this. I kind of want to see if we can capture this guy. Oh, we're out of movement. So we need to keep an eye on where he's going. And... How far are you? Next turn, your quarter thingy will be done. So you're going in that direction. Whilst you are lately walking around my city. I will try and move up over here. What's this? Marble. Cool. Let's go. Ah, there are two guys now. But we are stronger. Ah, well, let's go. Okay. Confirmation phase. You have engaged an enemy in battle. If this was a mistake, you can cancel the action. I like that. Using the retreat button. If you do so, your army will be moved automatically using its maximum move points. 
Until the end of the turn, the retreating army will receive retreat status, locking several army actions and preventing further retreat. You can also left click on a confirm battle button to confirm, to commence the fight. Notice your full armor strength. We are evenly matched, but yeah, let's, let's fight. You can move your units anywhere you want on this side of the battlefield. This is a good moment to use the terrain. Elevation will give better vision and combat strength bonuses. Forest styles reduce range damage and rivers decrease the combat strength of all units finding on them. Alright, so I want this unit to be, I guess, over here. This is nice on a hill and these are even I would say. When you're satisfied with your unit placement, you can click on the end development uh, deployment button to start the fight. Uh, there's a button for automatic battle as well. Uh, when activated, the computer will play instead of you. But you can take the controls back whenever you want by deactivating the toggle. I wonder if you can also turn it on again. But for now, I'm going to do things by myself. And maybe turn it on later in the battle all right so they also have deployment and stuff every turn there are three battle rounds of course huge battles can last much longer than three battle rounds and so can take place over several turns as you advance through the eras the number of battle rounds will generally increase as the number of units engaged in battle rises the first empire to act in battle is the attacker they play all the units and then the defenders play each unit can be moved and attack once per battle round. So we want to move here, I think, and attack in this direction. So... Move here. We can't attack like that. Alright, then attack in this direction. We are stronger, we do a lot of damage on them. What's this? Um, know that you can end round any time by left clicking on the end round button, and we can also turn on the automatic battle. Right, I will first do things myself, and maybe later on, I will turn on the auto camera just to see how that works. So, we could potentially kill this one. We do a lot more damage on this one, so let's do that. Now they move, murder themselves. Oh, what? Or he didn't, he just did a very interesting move. We did kill that one. All right, so now it's my turn again. And I will turn on automatic battle just to see how it will work. All right, interesting. Victory. The battle has ended. The outcome is already visible, but if you want to learn more details, you can click on the left button. We lost 25% of our health. Nobody was destroyed. Yes, so there was an extra unit there. Interesting. Lost at one turn and two rounds. Wonder if, like, did I get any experience or something like that? Is there anything like experience? It doesn't look like it. All right, then that should be their turn then. A new event occurred. A melody for every occasion. In the dreaming iconic city of Babylon, musicians are a celebrated part of the local culture with a long history in holding rites. They bring nobility to religious rituals, jollity to palaces, uh, palace celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, courage to the marching armies, and distraction to the gods. Alas, there are still too small in numbers, especially the good ones. And now, word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders, among others, are grousing that their city diverse such artists too. How will you satisfy them? So we can muster or build. 
Three missions in rural Babylon. They could help commerce. Uh, they could help commerce elsewhere, even if they distract learning. We get plus five money and plus two science. Or every city will be required to build an institution of music where we can teach the performers. So for now it gives us extra money and science, but it could swing around because they distract learning. Well, as in this case, we produce more, which is good. And cost us some cash, which is fine. So let's do that. But I didn't like how the battle went. Fortunately, these units are apparently not the one that give us food. Because we didn't get any food out of that, I think. So I don't know what kind of unit would give food from that. We also need a construction for this place. So... If we place this farm quarters... Quarters must be placed adjacent to an existing one. They will exploit all the adjacent unbuilt tiles. Ah! So that's kind of like endless legend as well. Where you kind of build your cities outwards like this and then you get to use the yield of more tiles. Please note that synergies no the synergies. These are meant that at least one unbuilt adjacent tile will augment your new quarter production. Alright, so we have a couple of tiles where we can build it. This will lose some production but gain a lot of extra food from these as well. And we gain extra science because of that one. I think that should be a good place then. Alright, let's see what, the, that's, what we can do with that. I want to see, like, the entire food growth. Oh, we can actually over here. So the infrastructure does boost food. Right, because this is per population. And now we have, I guess, two territories, which would mean we get uh, eight growth from that, which kind of makes sense. Hmm. All right. Good. So then we'll go and enter. And we've unlocked bronze working, which is excellent. Which also allows castles. Gives strength to those fight in the shadow, can be placed far from the city walls. Land units spawn. Really? Huh. Gives also the ability to make forge. In a family of coal energy industry. So do does that mean we need like coal like charcoal makers or something like that? Because I did see that somewhere. And spearmen. I do like spearmen. So let's take a look at the technologies. Like where were the charcoal makers? It's a lumber yard. Sending army. Our charcoal kilns. You require a forge is called energy level 2. So it's the other way around. You start with a forge and then you kind of go with um, the charcoal makers. Which I guess would work. You can stoke a forge with wood. Charcoal is just more efficient. And we are now look unlocking domestication. I think that's good. I think that's good. All right, then I want to take a look over here and kind of say like, well, these farming quarters will be nice, but I kind of want to build a copper mine first. 
Extract copper deposit from the deposit. It is on. Cost 30 industry, which we have more than enough of. Plus one industry per adjacent industry. Make us quarters. So if we build make us quarters there, around there, they will get an extra bonus from it. Which makes sense. Right, let's prioritize the copper mine. Do we want to prioritize it that much if we actually just buy it out? I think we just will. Just want to see if it actually instantly buys out stuff. It does. Excellent. So that means we now have copper. And since we have access to a source of copper, we can now build the Sabo Sa Quasi. Quasi? That, the, the, the dots and lines on top of it. Um, I'm probably pronouncing that horribly. I don't want to. I want more info on you. Is there a button for more info? If I hold shift, for example, alt, con control, hmm. Because there are a couple of things I want to know about these kinds of units. And there's not really a way to. Maybe these units have it as well. So what's this? Veterancy. See, that's the kind of thing I was interested about. What does veterancy mean? Skill and experience, race, combat unit strength. So we don't really have that. Right, so what I'm going to do is, with these, I'm going to kill this sanctuary. And I'm building an outpost over here. Which will go into a city and then make this in another territory, I think. I think that should be a good way. Because we want to exploit the horses over there. Sounds like a plan to me. Maybe we want to build a new scout unit after this. You've chosen a scientist called you. Now have access to a special... Action related to science. Your science, a special affinity action is available. As a science culture, you can order any of your cities to have a special focus on science production. It will stop producing industry and money instead, converting 50% of the original production into science. Last five turns. I don't think I want to do that. I also don't think I want this population guy to work on the industry either, nor the money. But providing five science per turn? That sounds not that bad. Like, he doesn't really make a difference in growth anymore, by the looks of it. We have 34 output, so this, this is not useful. So if we have one citizen over here. Next one only gives an. It's kind of reduced the value of it, I guess. Because this one gave us five. But I think we do want to kind of try and max that out. And unfortunately, it's not really useful unless we have a maker's quarters, eh? Huh. Alright, but let's focus on science for now and try to make the farmer squad as a thing. Population gain, more people, more power. I kind of agree with that one. And yeah, let's go to... Oh, they're idle now. Right. Uh, this element indicates the location of resource deposits can be exploited by a city or an outpost in the same territory. Strategic and luxury. True. We will want to have both. Especially this one. So we want to build an outpost. See, the thing what I'm also interesting 
in, and that's what I'm going to try and find out now, is if we build, because that was, I believe, the case in Endless Legend as well. So if we place the city around here, and we build in extraction unit on the outpost, um, then that tile would generate for the city as well, without having adjacency to it. Just like the farming district gave us uh, access to these two tiles. So I'm going to experiment with that by not building the city close to the horses. Would be pretty great, but we might be able to find other stuff. Uh, where do we want to place ourselves then? I think here is a good place. Should we not be able to get access to the horses by doing this, then we are just going to get that. Um, once we build an adjacent thing over here. So let's just establish ourselves there. And a outpost. And that did cost us a pretty buck, but that's okay. And we have another event. A melody for every occasion too. Creating an institution dedicated to music in every city was an excellent idea. Wow. Thank you, I thought so as well. Performers produce refined, delicate compositions and many pay for the privilege to hear them play. Music is serious, artful practice carried out by trained adepts. Strict classical musical culture is well established. Music is sacred art, only performed by those with requested learning. But does it do anything? Do we get anything for it? Still overproductive, at least. Um, doesn't look like it. But we can produce something new. So, a forge is cool and all. But it doesn't really do anything for us as of yet. I think we're going to go with the tanning racks, which gives us, I believe, four money per turn though. I'm also kind of interested to see how a palisade would work. Uh, well maybe just go with... Maybe just go with this unit because I kind of want to see that one as well. Oh there's so many things I want to see. Let's first build some production. This will unlock some new tiles over there, will give us a nice production bonus because it's adjacent to that. Right, let's do that first. I want to see how that works. And then you can kind of we'll first move to here. I want to see more of what is hiding over here. And then eventually we want to go towards the marble. But this is the entire territory that we just claimed. And now we have domestication done. Excellent. And we need a hundred bucks to create a city out of this. That yeah, should be fine. Off we, go. we got an old hoard, which gives us five extra caches. Let's just explore over the map. And it does look like they're healing every turn as well, which is really nice. I was wondering about that, if there was some healing going on, or if we needed some uh, stay in a city or something like that. But yeah, it looks like they're healing themselves. Alright, two more turns for that. And we need a new thing to research. Um, let's go with carpentry. And we're researching insanely fast now as well. Good. Really good. Alright, let's go with that. Oh, we had some signs left over probably from last turn, which the carryover kind of made us go research it really, really fast. 
We also definitely don't want to go towards the roads because that sounds like a good thing. Uh, fishing. Plus one food in coastal waters, food on river. Yeah, if we kind of want to go with exploiting these kind of tiles. Doesn't seem to be any resources on there. I think just because I kind of want to see it, I want to go towards the wheel. So let's go do that. Yeah, we had some science left over. Babylon still one turn away. We don't want to spend our money because we want to spend the money on Babylonians. Oh no, that's us. <laughs> I thought that was an outpost name. That was stupid. Off we go. Another horses resource. You just want to kind of collect these cases of money. Oh, we've built the quarters over there. All right. So now we have a ton of things we can build: archers, um, animal bonds. It's in the animal husbandry family with one level. So I'm curious, if this one upgrades, does that mean like the bonus is... No, because the bonus is pretty much the same. Or maybe they are like cumulative. A lumber yard plus one industry and exploitation. Once felled from nearby forest, logs of all sizes chopped and stored in the yard. So this is also an in, like a infrastructure, I would say. And it looks like the game is recommending like build a military unit. Oh no, it's literally a unit construction thingy. All right. Um. Sure. Let's build an archer. Just want to see how that works. Move this army to some animal remains. Oh, and pearls. Interesting. Yeah. Now we have horsemanship and two turns away until we be able to get the roads between the cities. Kind of want to move you this direction again, though. Or maybe we take the long way around. See what's going on over there. Another case. And next turn the archer's complete. Maybe we can go hunt for food? I don't know. This emirate contains a single unit only, but is still using one of your empire's generals. To be able to keep crafting units without suffering from money upkeep, Cost due to insufficient generals, you can merge your armies. Good. And you're also able to claim territory, cut forests, and stuff like that. So maybe we want to add another archer to it, so just so that he's not alone, or maybe even one of these instead. So we do this, and in three turns that will be ready. Yeah, as expected, they do loop around. And with that, we actually will get the technology next turn. Um, is there something like skip? We want to skip for three turns so we can combine those. There are, we now have roads between all those places. I don't think it does anything for us, like, with money-wise, but still. Another five science. So we're sciencing away like a crazy. Fishmonger, I don't think that's necessary. Irrigation. Sure, let's go with irrigation. I don't know where we want to go, like focusing towards maybe trade expeditions. Mm. 
kind of going towards these end techs. I don't know, we'll find out later. Um, you still need to skip this turn. Or we gain more population. So we probably want to reassign you. Let's also put you in tech. Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference in growth. So yeah. I've unlocked irrigation because we're super fast with science now. And where do we want to go then? Let's go with calendar. You are idle. I want to go in this direction. Next turn we'll be able to make a new city. Get some cash. And then we kind of want to settle this one as well for the marble. One more turn until that unit is ready. Alright, so now we have two pretty advanced Over. units, I would say. Over here. What's that? Mercury! Don't, don't do what people did back in the olden days and drink that. Because it was a liquid metal, they thought it was super cool and special. It was! Not so healthy for you. Calendar. And let's do this. Three turns to create you into a city. Um, with calendars done, let's go towards writing. Because this could be really useful for us since we have a lot of citizens that do science. I Let's see. We need 70 bucks for that, all right. So we kind of need to wait a little bit. Many things we have. Chariots, we need copper. Two, we need two copper sources, I guess. Huh. So what do we want? This is a repeatable... Per number on the same repeatable. Alright, so for every time we do that, we get plus two food in the city forever, I guess. Upgrading stability. I don't know exactly. Like, it looks like there's a threshold and stuff like that. If it's below that, it's probably bad. If it's above that, it's probably really good. But in the middle, it doesn't really matter that much. We don't have a river in this territory's border, so we don't want that. Extra food could be nice, though. Granary, that's a lot of food as well. I don't think we need all of that. We have a research quarter, which gives a nice adjacency bonus over here. Beyond that, not much, eh? Commons quarter. What does influence do? I don't think I've seen influence yet. So I'm not sure what influence does. There, it's not over here anywhere. So I don't know. In three turns we do want to probably go do something else. I don't want to build another unit. So let's go with a research quarter. We're doing a lot of research. And... This seems nice. Just experimenting with it. Um, let's explore me. a bit more in this direction. Because we do want to have the marble. Me. And there's a river over here with some loot cases, I would say. Uh, two more turns for that. And 
move you up there. Come over here. We got some volunteers. To represent the challenge of logistical support for arms, your empire has a limited number of generals. 17? Unlike administrators, generals are automatically assigned to an army upon creation. The general will also be automatically unassigned if its army is destroyed or merged. If the number of available generals falls to zero, each subsequent leader of this army will incur a monetary cost. We have tons of generals by the look of it. So that's fine. Um, let's not merge you guys. Let's let you be independent. We have enough generals apparently anyway. Over this way. So let's Over in distraction. We'll loot whatever we can. Where you go in, in distraction and see what we can find over here. Now, I do hope that we can find some deer with these units because I'm kind of interested in trying them out in combat. I like these guys who keep finding the deers. We have found out what writing is. Excellent. Another bit of cash. And that means next turn we'll be able to build an outpost. Oh no, because this became a city, we are probably able to make this an outpost already. So food is kind of a little bit of a problem in this valley. So where do we want this outpost to be situated? To make it a complete production focused one. But I think this is probably the best place then. We need some food. It will help Uruk a lot. So let's go over here. Build the outpost. Sins of the father. The birth of writing has permitted worth of, our great, of your great deeds to be recorded. And decimated among your people. But it has also allowed a person's debt to be tallied. In the past the person's debt died with them. Now they inherited by their offspring. I don't think that's true. I think people knew like. Hey your dad owed me some money. He might be dead now but. Kind of still need the money. However in the new city of Uruk. The political leadership wishes to strike these debt from the record. For anyone who makes the city their home. What do you say? We can't really afford this. But I'm curious if we can go into the negative. So probably just say yeah. We can go into the negative. We got two extra pops out of that. There is no administrator assigned to the city. Meaning production is diminished. If there is an available administrator. There is. Left click to assign it. Assign. Done. Um, there is stagnation food wise. So, unless we do a lot of effort, there will be no growth. Which is kind of okay, I guess. Um,. Yeah, let's go and see if this actually works the way. Yeah, and it does. By placing this, we will get whatever is on that tower. So this way we have growth. We have some science. We can't put another one here because we don't have the slots open for it. And this does make a difference. Two turns instead of three. So let's do that as well. And we did build the outpost, so that's good. I was a bit of, of afraid that now that we are big negatives, we couldn't build the outpost anymore. We probably can't link them anytime soon. But okay, yes, I would say. Off we go. More expeditions. Follow me. Carcass. Probably next turn, try to murder that. 
What does this do? A forest, move forest from a child in exchange for an industry boost. Alright. Up. And there is some unit over there. Yeah, we'll confirm this battle. We want to see how this works in relation with a archer. Since they're deploying in this direction, I kind of want my archer behind these units. Let's see how that goes. Oh. Let's just focus fire on that guy first with the archers. Some horrible shooting, lots of misses, but a lot of damage as well. And you can just most likely destroy them. Only 95. Did a nice run through the archers. Easy kill there. Easy kill there. Uh, capture their flag. Actually, that is what the flag is. We need to capture that. Why am I going to try that? Um, so maybe if we capture the flag, we will gain the food. I don't know. So we now have captured the flag. I don't know if that did anything though. We lost some strength and health. We destroyed three units. I don't know. We got 30 bucks out of it as well. So that's good. We still have eight turns left. I want to see if we can focus completely on science then. See if we can get into the next era. Uh, let's end this turn. You can ransack that one. You can find whatever is over there. Um, you Let's go, go. In this direction. You have one more move left. Let's see what's there. And we have a city that's idle. Let's go to science mode. Focusing entirely on science. For five times, it will provide you with science only. Well, maybe we should have waited until the population growth was done. But I was interested to see what it would do. Especially since we just built this. Can we do it for this one as well? I will wait one turn. Be after that. Let's do this then. And turn. And put... Uruk in science mode as well. Just to see how fast we can tech up with that. So I kind of want to see if we can get into like the next era. Off we go. Mm -hmm. This is coffee. Interesting. Come over here. Follow me. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, let's see, I think this is probably the best place to go. So we have trade expeditions. Five turns left in this game. And yeah, let's go to f research for an outpost, which is definitely in the classical era. Let's see if something pops up for that. 
We should be able to make that as well. Just in time. Okay. I do like how the different layers are, are in the game. Like the super low and a lot higher and everything like that. It does add a lot of cool things to it. A new event. The first calendar. The invention of the calendar heralded a glorious day in the empire's history. Now, with two major cities and numerous farming affairs needing to be harmonized across the land, it is time to standardize the calendar. Traders must have an easy means of synchronizing their activities. By what means do you wish to track the days? So do you want to have solar days or lunar days? I don't know if, if that would actually do something. Learned assure you that this calendar will better stand the passing of the seasons. Uh, or something that's familiar and comforting to the people. Well, let's go with solar then. I don't know. Maybe I hope that somewhere later on in the game we we'll go back. To, like, remember when you like made those calendars and stuff like that? Oh. Yeah, they're shit. <laughs> they're not working at all. People are confused all the freaking time and those kinds of things. I don't think that's how it works, but. Go destroy that sanctuary they're standing upon. We're almost at the end. Um, let's do a battle completely automate, automated. Just want to have the AI have some fun in finding this battle for me. Should be used, be able to win this easily. Oh, he's trying to capture the flag. I would have attacked over there. But that's okay. You do your book. And that should give us enough money to attach the city here. Done. Which gives us more signs. So, because we just won a victory there, was there a curiosity there before or not? I don't know. Yes, I, it looked to me like it appeared because we won the victory. But I don't know for certain. Um, let's attack that one as well. Turn battle. And just automate it for me. So I wonder when you will get experience. Maybe the experience is not when you fight the environment, but only versus other true civilizations. Because I've definitely fought a couple of battles now, but none of them seem to have gained any experience. We finished the Fawn Outpost. Doesn't really show us being in the next age though that's sad i kind of hope that would kind of do it let's go with craftsmanship that probably means that we won't be able to get it anymore like i don't know if it's actually in the scenario or not Come over here. but i i do like this game it's very early access Still a lot of things they need to tweak and stuff like that But uh, it's an intriguing thing and I probably will play this scenario again I'm not sure if I will record it if you do want to see me play it again knowing the mechanics a little bit better and Probably doing a lot better Then please let us know in the comments down below But beyond that uh, I, th I think this is going to be the last turn One thing that I always should do and I don't do now is move these units a lot slower. Like, Off we go. there is no advantage really on going, except for time. Time advantage is a thing. But sending them out so fast, you could find things and um, want to change your direction. But that's it, the end of this scenario.
just showing off what we can expect in the future, Hi, I guess. Hi, it's me again, back to say just a few words. First and most obviously, thank you for playing. We really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I actually again, did. Keep in I mind did, really did. This is just a glimpse of what the full game will have to offer. The scenario you just played was specifically designed for open dev. Now, if you have time, we would really appreciate hearing your feedback. The game yeah, designers have put together a When you finish the scenario, there's going to be us make a questionnaire the very best uh, that I will fill out, but I'm not doing it If you're it interested in hearing here. more about this, come join the community on but, Games uh, Together. Yeah. Thanks again for playing, and thank you for leaving your mark on humankind. It was a great scenario. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it really shows what the game has to offer. It looks a lot more like Endless Legend than I anticipated in the first place. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I liked Endless Legend. Um, but that's it going to be for this video. Like I said before, if you want me to replay this scenario well, knowing a bit more about it, how things work better and stuff like that, please let us know down in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.